Hello, everybody, and welcome to Faith Ministries. I'm Chris Jack, and we're beginning together this amazing study on the 17 apocalyptic prophecies given to us by God in His Word. I've been studying this sequence of biblical prophetic events for over 10 years now, and the journey becomes more and more exciting each time I review it. Why? because it's the plan God has given his children in advance for how he is going to rescue us from the curse of sin and this broken world. Amen. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross of Calvary was actually the pivotal setup for the climax of the story of redemption, a majestic God of love on a rescue mission to take his people home and to secure the integrity of his kingdom forever. What is better than that? I hope you will prayerfully consider the truths presented from the Word of God in this series of studies. We will walk through each and every apocalyptic prophecy right from the Bible, five from Daniel and twelve from Revelation, carefully examining how God's Word clarifies every symbol on its own account, thus eviscerating the unending slew of confusing private interpretations being taught throughout the Christian community today. Get this, only God has the authority to interpret his prophecies. And he has done so for those who would be willing to forego their own ideas of truth in order to seek his. Now, like the four rules of math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, the four rules of prophetic interpretation are also self-evident. They can be cross-checked and cross-referenced. They are verifiable and repeatable, and they force us to align our thinking with God's word and his word alone and we will review how each of them applies at the conclusion of every segment. Each of these segments has been specifically designed to allow you to dig through this incredibly beautiful but somewhat intimidating story as quickly and effectively as possible. Now, because of this, certain teachings and scriptures may actually raise more questions for you than they answer, but it's okay. This is a good thing. I want to encourage you to take notes, pause the videos, do your own research, and dig deeper wherever the Holy Spirit calls you. Don't take my words as gospel. Allow the Bible to speak for itself, and you will be greatly rewarded. As you journey through this study, remember, precious metals and rare gems are not found on the surface of the earth. They're found in the depths. The Bible says the Lord is more precious than rubies, more costly than gold, more beautiful than diamonds. You see where I'm going with this. There is nothing better than mining for treasure in the Word of God. If you need them, we've provided an abundance of resources for you at rrfaithministries.org. So check them out if you're looking for more. Well, it's time to buckle your seatbelts for the adventure of a lifetime as we look together at what God says is coming next in the 17 Apocalyptic Prophecies.